Scams continue to be a favorite among online crooks. And as CBS 4 Zach Myers explains, big companies are having to get innovative to prevent them. Well, scammers love gift cards because they're treated like cash. And if they trick you into giving up that 16 digit code and pin number, it's an instant payoff for them. According to the Better Business Bureau, consumers reported a 50% increase in gift card scams this year compared to last year. There are several different kinds of scams as well. They often involve a scammer impersonating online sellers, pet breeders, government or sweepstakes officials. They convince someone to send them the barcode and the pin number on the back, which gives them instant access to the money on the card. Sometimes they'll go to a store where gift cards are sold and record the numbers from the cards and then try to steal the money online after the cards are loaded and activated online. At that point, they'll either spend the money right away or transfer it to a different card to cover their tracks. So we know this is happening, so what are big companies doing about it? Well, for one thing, according to the BBB, Walmart recently deployed a new technology called Redemption. It contains an algorithm with red flag markers for gift card fraud. While many of the details are confidential, it basically tracks the way that a scammer outside the country communicates with a partner inside the country to identify a transaction as fraud. Once that's confirmed, then the stolen money is placed into an escrow account and turned over to the Secret Service, which works with the Department of Justice to return the money to customers. Sounds very complicated, but earlier this year, the operation was able to return nearly $4 million to consumers who bought Walmart gift cards as part of a scam. Still, experts say you shouldn't rely on a company like Walmart to have your back. You need to protect yourself. So be on guard if anyone ever asks for payment with a gift card, especially if they play, uh, claim to be from the government. That just doesn't happen. Contact the gift card seller, as well as the actual business or government agency asking for the money to confirm that you're not being scammed before you make any transaction. And make sure you keep all your information related to a purchase in case you have been scammed. The BBB has a lot more information about this, including ways to report a gift card scam on their website. You'll find that attached to this story at CBS4Indy.com. For CBS4 News, I'm Zach Myers.